kind of thinking, you owe me a 10 second call. Now we're even. I think everybody has their own association with speed. Everyone has their own relationship with the car phenomenon. The attraction to the Fast and Furious franchise began because a lot of people can relate to having a vehicle and wanting to press the gas on that vehicle and take that vehicle as far as they possibly could. It doesn't matter where you're from, what your background is. Speed in cars is universal. In this particular one, we're having more types of cars than we've had in any of the other ones before, and we've really embraced muscle cars, tuner cars, exotics. We have all kinds of vehicles. These are all the imports the city has at impound. Pick your poison. All right, uh, 2206, 3418, and 2765. Okay, so which one do you want? I want them all. At the beginning of this film, one of the first cars you see is the Buick GNX, which Vin Diesel drives. Two of them were equipped with reverse body on the chassis for driving high speed in reverse. As a film viewer, I hadn't really seen too many 80s cars being brought back, so uh, that choice for the GNX, it was spectacular. Wow. 900 horses of Detroit muscle. came into this franchise, you find out very quickly what's important to the fans, you know? Um, and one of the things that always comes up is Dom's Charger. So to be able to bring it back, it has a lot of significance. You bring that back because not only is it just an awesome looking car, but it's there's something more to it. You know, it tells a story. It represents the soul of Dom. It's actually his father's car, the car that killed his dad and almost killed him in the first movie. Getting back to that Charger was very fun. It was like an old friend. It was like an old cast member that I had worked with a long time ago. You remember in Fast and Furious 1, for those of you that stayed through the credits, you see Vin Diesel driving this car down the uh, Baja Peninsula, you know, making his you know, you know, way into Mexico for his escape. This is a, uh, a 454, four-speed, 1970 SS, pretty much just your classic muscle car. He starts off with a very original, clean, factory appearance of a Chevelle, and basically he disguises the car by primary in the vehicle and basically transforms it into a race car. Big and bad. Because <laughs> that's the way he likes it. He's the muscle car guy. Muscle beats import every time. You know what I'm saying? Every time. We'll see Brian in the skyline, not the same skyline, but a different skyline. The first one I drive is a, a Nissan Skyline R34 and uh, RV26 twin turbo, 2.6 liter. So uh, a little bit of a nail biter, it was fun. That's it. How do you know? Because that's something I drive. And then I'm driving the new Subaru WRX STI, which is Subaru's latest and greatest. It's their best STI yet. I like it a lot. I'm just hoping they're gonna give me one. <laughs> Torino's another great car. We really felt like as soon as you saw it, you got a sense of what Dom has to go against. Your car? It's Phoenix's car. When they told me I was gonna be driving a 72 Grand Torino GT, I was like, all right, this is something that you haven't seen in any other uh, Fast and the Furious. I think there's been an uh, interesting relationship between the Fast and the Furious and the car culture, and they have relied on each other, and they have taken from each other in a cool way. The race is on. 